Hey, fellow campers. How's everyone doing? Thanks for stopping by this channel. Jill Camper here. Hey, first video. Crazy stuff, you know? Crazy. But this is going to be it. I'm just going to make Algonquin trip uh, log stuff because I um, sometimes when you're looking for canoe routes, no one's no one's got your back, you know? And uh, that's why that's why I'm going to be here because I'm going to try to have your your back when it comes to canoe routes. Because it's fun to share canoe routes, I don't know. You know? Anyways, so three weekend bangers. You know, three little trips. You can look at it like beginner's trip, but this is, this is, we're going to make it easy. Short portages, you know, carry a couple pops with you and everything's going to be okay. But anyways. Whoa. Let's not forget rule number one. Don't be a dirtbag out there. Okay, don't feed the animals. Just back in, back out, be chill. Hey, so you can probably tell I'm pretty garbage at this whole uh, YouTube uh, business. And there were supposed to be animations here. However, that's just that's just the, making your first YouTube video. Who gives a rip? Let's move on. This is the Ragged Lake Chill. Fantastic lakes right here. Smoke Lake, you can get deliveries too. Great little parking lot marked by the Paths Blue Ribbon. You start off from there, you can get your canoes delivered for free from um, one of the Portage stores. I'll give some shout outs later. But the Portage stores in the area, you can rent equipment from them. Fantastic. So you're going to get your deliveries of canoes right at the parking lot of Smoke Lake. You take off. You go down this yellow uh, this yellow line to Ragged Lake, where all the, the arrows are. Um, so you, you take this 240 mirror portage, nice and flat. Ragged Lake, great campsites. Absolutely. One of the better lakes out there, and it's pretty accessible. And this is the best part. It's it's a great like weekend rip. You're there two nights, Ragged Lake, in and out, great time. You know, Enjoy the sun, fantastic. If you want to push it a little bit, you go to Parkside Bay, uh, denoted by the uh, black line here. I was supposed to, you know, do some fun animations. There's some great campsites right here. They're kind of like Dooney, in, in a sense. And um, every time I try to go there, they're, they're taken. So, uh, yeah. Uh, survival of the fittest, I guess. I don't know. I, I just always wanted to go there. But uh, right here in the, with the blue circle from going to Ragged to Parkside, there's a rope swing. Kind of cool. Uh, apparently, the, the dude that r took it for a spin, uh, so I saw someone actually do it. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're paddling by it, don't be too afraid of it. He said, stick to the left and you'll be laughing as he paddled off. So... Stick to the left, my man's, and, and, it, and my man's is kind of kind of cringe. So probably not gonna make it in. Anyways, great little trip here. This is it, the Ragged Lake Chill. You gotta work for it a little bit. That's just life, you know. It makes it makes it more exciting. Uh, easy canoe rentals, easy portage, and uh, to the right there you got. Uh, this is us on, on Ragged Lake um, before the tornado, so good stuff. We were okay. Hey, so here's the uh, easiest one out of the three. Uh, the King's Coat uh, Rip. So this is, um, this is a classic area where I would take like, if you and some friends and you, if no one's ever done this before, this is, this is the one to do. Oh, the only sad part here is the rentals aren't as hype as the ones that you'd find on Highway 60 and like other places in uh, the park. But uh, this one's kind of cool because they have like uh, campsites like right there too, like right beside the parking lot. So if you're not feeling up to it or if you're a little timid about the weather that you, know, you could always crash, crash there and, and just hang out in the parking lot and by the campsites there but this is great because it's a nice small lake 
and uh, there's a couple good campsites the best one being the top one the utmost uh, at the top there with the big arrow that's really hype uh, it's got a fantastic view of the lake and a nice little beach so pretty good and this is a classic ccc car canoe campsite that's what the uh, the industry calls it okay so we got the last one here, the Ralph Bice Adventure. Dip your toe and do a solid drip. The chill camper. The map looks a little intimidating because I have zoomed out, but the whole point of this trip here is to get a beach campsite that's absolutely beautiful that I've marked with a red arrow. Uh, beside that beach campsite, there's good campsites as well, but the beach campsite, we're talking like a bay to yourself, a beautiful beach campsite, like it just, I, mean, I don't want to over exaggerate, but you can walk 70 paces and still be up like to your thigh and, and water. So you, it's just, it's pretty fantastic. And that's why I would, I would go to that. Uh, that I just gun it to that one. But um, all the other ones are, I haven't been obviously on all the campsites, but the ones near it are very good too. Ralph Bice, crazy enough, fun fact about, hey, fun fa fact about this, uh, this lake, formerly called Butt Lake, um, but then they named it Ralph Bice because he was always the butt of the joke. Uh, God. This is, uh, oh, okay. You can even make it a little bit more hardcore by going to, uh, Little, Little, um, Little Trout, Queer Lake, you could do a loop down the Petawawa if you really want to be crazy, but uh, for a weekend, Ralph Bice, little zipper. Um, you get deliveries from the uh, rental place right at the you know access point, so it's it's fantastic. Great place to hang out with some friends. Say eh? high fives, thumbs ups. That's the best part about camping. Hey, and there you have it. Three great weekend rips. You and your friends can have a great time on. I had friends with my friends, or <laughs> my friends. Hey, can you tell I'm doing this at 1 a.m.? I had fun with my friends here, and I hope you can have fun with uh, your friends at one of these campsites. This guy named Jeff, absolute hero, uh, just made a more detailed map of Algonquin, so it's a little easier, it's a pretty easy uh, to access, free download, PDF. Um, I think you could donate, but I'm not too sure. Uh, probably should, but this is this this resource is fantastic. And, and Jeff, um, you're a hero, buddy. Thank you so much for for making that resource. And dude, I think re really cool news, guys. I think it's getting an update. But uh, what do I know? I'm just a chill camper. Hey, thanks, fellow campers. Cheers.